this mystery team uh, that's been involved in these reports, it, it can't be the Baltimore Ravens, can it? Well, this is why I came to y'all, because sometimes if I have these crazy thoughts, if I start overthinking stuff, I'm like, you know what? Let me hear what team keep it clean, what they have to say about it, because they can help me decipher and break down my crazy thoughts to actually see if they are crazy thoughts or if they're justified. Now, of course, for weeks, we've been hearing about Jonathan Taylor, how unhappy he is in Indianapolis, how he wants out from the Colts. He had his back and forth with Colts owner Jim Ursay, and it got really ugly. And at first they were like, hey, Jonathan Taylor, he ain't going nowhere. We're not trading Jonathan Taylor. But then the tune changed and they said, hey. Jonathan Taylor, we are granting you permission to go seek a trade. So him and his agent, they can start talking to other teams, putting some fillers out there like, hey, who wants me? What you willing to give up? And apparently they said that, oh, yeah, the Colts want at least a first round pick for Jonathan Taylor. When that report came out, I said they ain't getting no first round pick for Jonathan Taylor. It ain't happening. Uh, the most I think they'll get is a third and change and maybe a fourth. But they ain't getting no first bottom line. So. Uh, a week ago, actually eight days ago, Dan Ovlosky, he said something that was very interesting. And I was thinking like, huh? Uh, the report came out. The Colts have given all pro running back Jonathan Taylor permission to seek a trade per league sources. Other teams are now weighing whether to make an offer to the Colts and what would be fair value. That was from Adam Schefter. And Dan Ovlosky said to that, he said, I don't know how likely it is that he actually gets traded. But my guesses would be Miami Dolphins, Dallas Cowboys. And he also listed the Baltimore Ravens as a team that he would see Jonathan Taylor getting traded to. And when I saw that, I was like, what? Like, why would for what would be the reasoning? And because this was after J.K. Dobbins had already been back with the team that his sit in was officially over. So it, it just really made me scratch my head and wonder, like, why would the Ravens be involved in Jonathan? But then I thought about it for a little bit. I'm like, man, but they do love running backs more than a lot of teams do they do value running backs more than a lot of other teams do and with the situation with J.K. Dobbins and really just their situation at running back for the future they don't really have a running back for the future at least officially yet because J.K. Dobbins last year of his deal Gus Edwards toward the end of his deal uh, Justice Hill he only has one more year left on his deal currently and Keaton Mitchell hey we're gonna see what happens with him um, and then Melvin Gordon, he, of course, is not the future for the Baltimore Ravens. But it's funny because uh, him listing Miami, Baltimore and Dallas as teams that he could see trading for Jonathan Taylor. Miami has been all over Jonathan Taylor. And it was said a couple of days ago that Miami sent multiple trade offers for Jonathan Taylor. But the coach said, no, 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 no. Not good enough. You need to do better. Uh, and with the Dallas Cowboys, I haven't heard them actively seeking Jonathan Taylor, but with the Cowboys, you just, you know, you never know with them. With Jerry Jones, he always looking to do something. You see, he just traded for Trey Lance. So he always looking to make a move. But the Baltimore Ravens, that was a sneaky one. That was a sneaky one because with Eric DaCosta, like, he's known to pull off some trades, more so for defensive guys than offensive guys. But at the same time, with Eric DaCosta and them Ravens, you just never know because they always checking in on something. They always checking in on somebody. They always just gauging the market, seeing what it's looking like at that present moment. Um, but I wonder, I, I was really wondering, really thinking, could the Ravens be this team? Josina Anderson reported yesterday. She said, I'm told at this hour, at least two teams are still actively working to construct a trade for Colts running back Jonathan Taylor respectively making substantive offers and are mutually willing to give Taylor a market contract per source a market contract for a running back in this day and age now the market contract for a running back wouldn't be anything crazy but at the same time when you think market contract and you think running back it could make you think ravens so what do y'all think do you think Ravens could actually be in on the Jonathan Taylor or you think they they moved on from that and they ain't even thinking about JT right now? Tim, keep it clean. Y'all let me know. We out.